we are still stuck in this terrible storm, while the rest of Europe burns. Apparently our invasion of the Benelux countries is going quite well. Luxembourg, of course, has been occupied almost immediately. But yesterday, the Netherlands have surrendered. Belgium is close to doing so. And according to the reports on the radio, even France will not hold out for much longer. I have to say that I am surprised by the speed at which our army is advancing. I do not condone our invasion of the Benelux countries. Not at all. But on the other hand, if this helps to avoid the bloodshed that the world has seen and the Great War, if maybe it leads to a swift victory over the French, then maybe it was the right decision after all. I am very conflicted about this. It is the age-old dilemma. Does the result justify the means that were used to achieve it? I do not think so, especially not once civilians get involved, who have no say in the matter. We do have a good reception of the BBC out here, near the English coast, and we do listen to it on board. They have reported that the city of Rotterdam has been completely destroyed by our bombers to force a surrender. I have visited Rotterdam in the past. It was a nice city, and I cannot imagine that it has been wiped off the map. A storm like this can hide nasty surprises from you. And surprised we were when all of a sudden an escort appeared out of the rear. We crash dived. They seemed to be just as surprised as we were and needed a moment to get their guns ready. Lucky for us. We soon observed that they were escorting a merchant. Due to the size of the merchant, the terrible weather and the proximity of the escort, I decided not to engage. I suspect that this escort is not equipped with a hydrophone, or they are very bad at using it. After the first pass, when they dropped depth charges near us, they were unable to reacquire our position. We were able to steadily increase the distance to them, and they just continued to drop depth charges at random. Soon enough the escort started to vanish in the rain behind us. An opportunity that we could not pass up. Due to our vicinity to the Scottish coast, I was sure that further destroyers were heading towards our position. As soon as visual contact was lost, I ordered the boat to surface and we ran away at full speed. Finally we are out of the damn storm and I decide to take the boat further out to sea to perform a very dangerous task. We have two torpedoes stored in external containers. We need to bring these torpedoes into the boat to replenish our stores. This task is so dangerous because we will be unable to dive for multiple hours sitting on the surface at a very slow speed. This is why we perform this task at night, hoping that no airplanes will interrupt us. Each torpedo weighs one and a half tons and is just over seven meters long. Getting these heavy and unwieldy objects into the boat is a task that involves almost the whole crew. Everybody works as fast as they can, keenly aware of the danger that we are exposed to. Everyone breathes a sigh of relief when we finally finish the work. The sea state has worsened as we close with the Scottish coast. Once again we are battered by high waves. During the day we prefer to stay submerged, so as not to be detected by aircraft. But soon enough our hydrophone operator 
picks up a content, we surface and race towards it. Hello there, and welcome to a new episode of our Silent Hunter 3 campaign. We are in an engagement situation. So, what happened is we had a contact on our hydrophones when we were down here, a single freighter. So, of course, I'm curious, and we are moving northwards to get this guy. And we have just spotted him on the horizon. So, if we go up here, there he is. As per usual, the weather is less than awesome. Let's ask yeah, for a report. Wind speed 13 meters per second. The merchant seems to be going from right to left because I had turned directly towards him. So, to facilitate yeah, an intercept, I will now make a turn. It is bright daylight, so we won't be able to sneak up on this guy. That's out of the question. Let me see, I think crew does not need to be changed right now. They are all fine where they are. But here's my problem. We are quite close to the English coast. The ja, waters here are not very deep, only 30 to 40 meters. And there is a significant danger of airplanes. So we have to do this a bit quick. Jawohl, Herr Kaloy. Volle Fahrt voraus. Let's put on the codes and let's get this thing moving. Okay. Merchant is over there. Still not sure what nationality this thing has. Maybe it's not even British. But we will see once we get closer. So getting closer to that guy will take some time. And I won't bore you with that, so I'm gonna make a cut. And we'll see each other once we are in a better position. See you soon. Welcome back. So, there is... There is the target. We are getting there. We are now in a position where we will soon cross in front of the target, which will help us to determine its course. But I think that I'm getting close enough that I really need to submerge. Let me show you once the binoculars clear up. Yeah, there we go. Um, here's what we'll do. Turn in. We'll turn towards them and we will get their speed because I don't think that once I'm submerged I will be able to um, keep the same speed as they are going so I won't be able to just use the Ausdampfverfahren oh, blub, 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 yeah we'll have to do it this way periscope depth again Submerge the boat. And I'm I'm going up in the conning tower, and I'm gonna go to the. Thank you. I'm gonna go to the attack first group here. Oh, we're still above the surface. Come on, bring her down. Slow down the boat a bit so that the periscope clears up. There they are. Okay. Jawohl, Herr Kaloy. Neuer Kurs 2-0. Turn a bit. I want to continue on an intercept course while we do this. And even like so, it won't be easy. The waves are rocking the boat, even though we are submerged. This weather 
it's just crazy up here at the English coast. We are almost constantly in some kind of storm. Really crazy. There they are. Our submarine. That looks nice. So. Earlier I had managed to bring the external torpedo reserves into the boat. So we have an additional steam power torpedo in the fore reserves and one in the aft reserves. Not quite sure yet what I will fire. I do have two steam torpedoes loaded in tubes 2 and 3. Maybe I will fire those to make sure that we get a, uh, that we get a hit here. Okay. Give me... Actually, that will do. A bullet. Yeah, give me just a few degrees left. And we'll be prepared to take a speed reading here. Once the target crosses through our periscope. I'm not yet sure how long the target is, but I can make an estimation and I can measure the time, and that's what counts. Uh, the measurement that I'm taking right now, I can use it later as well. But for now I need two things. I need to estimate its course, and I need to get everybody ready here. Okay, this is actually looking alright. I want you to rest. Okay. Weapons officer, Give, bring me the attack disc. And let's have a good look at the target if possible. He is at an AOB that is more or less like so. So course estimation is 120 degrees. We'll be able to refine that. Okay. Turn in a little bit. Radar zero. And let's keep our eyes open. He will cross through this line very soon. Then we'll start the clock. And then I'll explain to you how you can get the target speed by using... Ah, come on. Weapons officer, I don't need you right now. By using this nifty little tool. Jawohl, Herr Kaloy. Ruder, null Grad. Could try to turn a little Jawohl, bit. Jawohl, Herr Kaloy. Ruder, zwei Grad Backbord. Let's turn slowly towards him. Just to speed things up a little bit. Jawohl, Herr Kaloy. Ruder, null Grad. Okay. That's good enough. Is the boat still turning? No. Great. Good. Now I just need a good enough vision at his hull so that I can determine when to start the clock. I'm not gaining on that guy, am I? Wait a moment. Bring the scale up here. Might be gaining on him. In that case, I will have to turn in directly towards him to get a speed reading right now. He might be going much slower than I anticipated. But let's watch. I'm looking at the smokestack, just trying to see if it's moving left or right according to the scale here. But that looks like I am indeed gaining on him. Okay. In that case, Jawohl, turn Kaloy. towards him. Ruder, null, grad. Um, wrong button. Jawohl, Herr Kaloy. Neuer Kurs, 3, 3, 5. Turn in. Okay. 
That will be a nice target. I think its size is great enough that I will be able to just sink him despite the bad weather. And since he has no escort, I can, without issues and with full, uh, with full safety, fire steam driven torpedoes. Not a problem. Let's see, have we completed the turn? No, not yet. We are about to there. Let's wait for that. Turn, 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 come on. Okay, turn has been completed. Don't tell me I'm still gaining on that guy. Wow. Somebody is either super slow or somebody has spotted my periscope. Or my submarine. Jawohl, Herr Kaloy. Neuer Kurs. Drei, drei, fünf. Or what we are looking at is a damaged ship. And he's not moving at all. And that's also a possibility. These storms can wreck ships. You know what? We'll verify that right now. Turn directly towards him. Let's see if he's moving at all. That might be what's happening here. Maybe we have a stationary target. Okay. Turning towards him. I think I'm right. I think he's not moving. Okay. Let's observe now. I did move a little bit too far. But I've stopped moving now. And it appears that he is indeed completely stationary. That thing isn't doing anything. Which is amazing. Another free sinking for me. I... On the one hand, I'm plagued by these storms. They are really really making things difficult. On the other hand, though, look at this. Oh, he is moving. He is moving. But his speed is... is really slow. Okay. If that's the case, then we do need to take a speed reading. Jawohl, Herr Kaloy. Neuer Kurs. Drei, drei, fünf. No? Okay. Well, we'll have to turn Jawohl, manually. Jawohl, Herr Kaloy. Ruder, vier. Grad Steuerbord. Jawohl, Herr Kaloy. Ruder, null. Grad. Rather zero. Maintain this. Let's keep closing the distance and having a good look at him. I think I can safely keep my periscope up. He's not spotting that at this distance in these waves. Yeah, he is moving. Let's prepare the clock. Start. Did he slow down and is now speeding up again? That's also a possibility. That's a possibility as well. Maybe he did that. He's not zigzagging, not changing his course. That tells me that he did not stop, uh, did not spot me, because I think if he did spot me, he would be 
making evasive maneuvers. But something... something is a bit off. Okay, I need to catch the right moment here. Oh, I can only make an estimation, but I think it's more or less okay. So about 48 seconds. I need an estimation of the, sh of the ship's length. I'm gonna say about... I think it's longer than 100 meters, but shorter than 150 meters. So let's go with 120. Okay, here's what you do. You take the measurement of 120 up here. You take the time that the target needed to pass through the central crosshair. In this case, let's just go with 49 seconds, because why not? And you find 49 on the middle ring, on the upper, or no, on the outer scale of the middle ring. You bring 49 over to the ship's length, which we estimated at 120. And this gives us at this red line here, the target speed, which would be 5 knots. And that is plausible. That is indeed plausible. I'll take another speed reading just to be sure. Let's do one more. Maybe we'll be able to see better when we have to stop the clock. Because even a few seconds, even if you're off by a few seconds, that can make a difference. Okay, turn completed, we are waiting. While we are waiting, let's make sure that we have set up our torpedoes correctly. We'll fire two and three, both with impact pistols. Both will be set to five and a half meters of depth, because due to the weather, we need to set them to at least 5.2 meters. So I'll go with a bit more than that, just to be on the safe side. Both are set. Then, since these are steam torpedoes, we can give them a faster speed, which we will do. That gives the target less time to react. Oh, and I missed. <laughs> While I was talking, I completely ja, missed that I need to start the clock. That's fine. We'll just do it again. No problem. Rather zero. Okay. Turn has been completed. We are now waiting. Once more. But yeah, the torpedoes are set up. Let's just do some prelim preliminary adjustments to this here. And we did say five knots previously, so let's dial that in just in case. Let's bring up the periscope as much as we can to reduce interference by the waves and start the clock now. really don't want it to get spotted. But I think this measurement will more or less confirm our result. Five knots. It looks plausible to me. Okay, periscope up. There is the end of the ship. Let's prepare to stop the clock. Oh, this this will take longer than 50 seconds. I stopped the clock too early last time. There, now that I see the ship. Yeah, 50. Let's give it... Maybe I did start it a bit early this time, so let's take... Let's take off one second. Let's say 52 seconds. And maybe this thing is about 130 meters long. So we are taking the 52 on the outer ring of the middle ring here. The outer scale of the middle ring. And we are bringing that to 130. And once again, this does give us about 5 knots. 
which does sound about right. All dull in five knots. Now that we have done that, let's see if we can determine AOB. More or less at 45 degrees. So, if that is indeed the case, and I bring that over to 45, then he is sailing on a course of 115. 115. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, if that is true, then to get a nice 90 degree intercept course, I need to come to 25 degrees. Let's do that. Actually. Let's lower the periscope. Let's bring it really low while we prepare our torpedo firing solution. The distance I will not adjust yet, but I know that when the target is in front of me it will be with an AOB of 90 degrees starboard, so I can dial that in right now. And that gives me the angle that I need to aim at to fire the torpedoes into him. Turn is not yet complete. Let's wait. I will now need to check how fast I'm closing the distance once the turn has been completed, that is. I'll wait a little bit until then. Give me depth on the keel, just out of curiosity. Yeah, so about... Yeah, we have a nice depth to play with here, actually. That's good. That is indeed good, almost 50 meters. That will vary, of course. That will vary a lot in this area. It can go down to 30. Uh, now, where is he? So now what we need to do is I'm just having a good look to see if I'm gaining on him, if I maybe need to throttle down a bit to not get too close before I fire my torpedoes. And I'm just making sure that my AOB estimation is correct. So if my estimation was correct, then he would now be at an AOB of 45 degrees. Which he... Oh, I'm not sure about that, actually. He might not be. Let's verify this. Oh, I think I'm looking more like... at an AOB of... 35 to 40, something like that. That would put his course at 125, and it. Now come on. 125, and that in turn would mean that I need to turn to 35 degrees for a 90 degree intercept. Yeah, okay. I can believe that. I will be standing by to take another speed reading. And we will slow down the boat because I think I'm closing the distance too fast. Switch to salvo. 
Torpedo salvo tubes 2 and 3. Salvo spread is set to 5 degrees for now. Let me check that. that. That might be good once we get closer. For now it would be too much. How do I check this? I'm basically looking at this dial here. And you can see that degrees are marked on this dial. This is 1 degree, 2 degree, 3 degree, etc. And I'm just checking if I look at him like this. Uh, I look at the stern. I move it to the front. That now gives me one and a half degrees. So if I were to fire right now, I would set a spread of maybe one degree or one and a half. You can also do that, of course, with the scale up here, but I just like doing it with this one. That's just a me thing. Okay, we are closing the distance quite nicely. AOB estimation. Does it hold? Yeah, I think we are now... I think we had estimated this AOB quite nicely here. He should be at an AOB of 45 degrees when he crosses this line. So I will then make another estimation. Let's lower our periscope a little bit. We'll soon need to dive the boat one or two meters deeper to make sure that the conning tower doesn't broach the surface. But this is starting to look like a really nice attack. So let's prepare for another speed reading here. Come on. Come closer. Damn it, wave. Okay, I will need to add a second. Let's lower the periscope. see that my AOB estimation I think it's pretty good is that guy armed I think he is oh that's interesting I'll show you what I mean in a moment just let me complete the speed reading here come on come on that did take a bit longer than before. Let's call it 65 seconds. Uh, his length... Yeah, something like 130, 120, 130 meters should be about right. So, 65 seconds would put his speed at only 4 knots. But, here's the thing. I did not measure the speed while he was directly in front of me. So what we need to do is we need to bring up this chart here, and I measured at an um, at an uh, I measured 45 degrees off center. So I need to add my own speed to my measurement. That would give him a speed of seven knots. That I do not believe. That I do not believe. Let's do it again. Over here. And then we'll need to fire soon. I 
yeah, the armament. I wanted to talk about that. I think this here might be a gun. Ah, oh, no, no, it's not. I was mistaken. I thought that this little grey box here might be a gun, but maybe it's something else. So maybe he's not armed. That's fine. Interesting that at this point in the war that we see a single lone merchant sailing through here. Just for reference, where are we actually? Let me show you. We are here, uh, off the Scottish coast, still an AN-51. I am indeed astonished that he's sailing all alone through this area. That is confidence that kills you. Oops, didn't want to do that. That's the kind of confidence that gets you killed. Is this an AOB of 45 degrees? No, I think I'm good. Even if we are off by a few degrees, it won't matter by the time that we shoot. Speaking of the time that we shoot, how close are we getting to this guy? Do I want to speed up? No, not really. I'm already getting quite close. We will be shooting at below a kilometer. Let's prepare the clock. And... Come on. Come closer. Damn you, wave. Now. Lower the periscope. Actually, dive the boat a bit deeper. Jawohl, Herr Neue Tiefe, 1,3 Meter. We need to do that now. Did he slow down? He seems to be going so slow right now. Like really slow. Like is he stopping slow? Lower our own Jawohl, speed. Make sure that we maintain depth. Yeah, this is... These measurements are all over the place. Is he varying his speed? That's already 90 seconds. Maybe he has engine trouble. Jesus Christ, that's almost two full minutes. And stop. Did I get it right? Yeah, more or less. We'll take... Let's take off two seconds or so. Wow. Do I have the ability... Yeah, that is above 100 seconds. So the uh, scale ends. Let's make an estimation. That would put his speed at two and a half knots with... Uh, ...thirty-five at an own speed. Yeah, I did change my own speed, but um, very late. Oops, didn't want to do that. Uh, that's... More or less brings it to 5 knots. So we'll stay with the 5 knots. Maybe lower it a little bit. See, he really seems to be having issues. Oops, didn't want to do that. Okay, I need to fire here. 
Where's the periscope? Uh, range. Dial in 500. Open the tubes. Spread will be... 5 degrees is actually okay. Fire the tops. Let's have a look at the tops. Oh, I'm much closer than I thought I would be. And both torpedoes malfunctioned. Yeah. That happened. Both torpedoes ran below the target. He's getting away. It is a British ship. I would like to sink this. Let's see, is he armed? That's a hard no. I could try to fire more torpedoes. Fire maybe a steam torpedo from the rear tube. But you know what, at this point... I'm not too sure about this. What do I do? I might be throwing another torpedo after two bad ones. That's my problem right now. And I would need to surface. Oh hell, we are not here to... We are not here for a pleasure cruise, are we? Full speed ahead. We can set up the torpedo for four, five and a half meters. Medium speed, impact driven. Everything else is fine. Single torpedo, not a salvo. Yeah, Surface the boat. Let's hope he's not armed. I am behind him though, so if he is armed, then I should be in a good position. Yeah, the boat is struggling with the terrible waves. Come on, get us up there. Blow the damn water out. No, we are really struggling with the waves. <laughs> we are really struggling with the waves. Uh, they pushed us down to 15 meters again. Come on. Jesus Christ. We are not able to maintain... Or depth on the surface. Now we are. Okay, let's go out here. See what's happening. So far, so good. Turn in. Chief Engineer, do not recharge batteries. I need all the speed that I can get right now. The weather is terrible. Really terrible. Guys, don't get thrown overboard. For what I am about to do to this ship, I do not have much time. He has now radioed in our position for sure. That means airplanes, that means maybe destroyers because I am this close to the English coast. So I need to hurry up. Shoot at this guy. 
hopefully sink him. Jawohl, Herr Kaloy. Ruder 0 Grad. And then get out of here. Okay. The engines are working at full capacity. But even so, we are only making 12 to 30 knots apparently. Maybe it will go a little bit faster than that. However, that is more than enough to overtake that guy. Deploy the radio antenna, bring the user to the bridge. I'll be needing this. No sign of weapons. Just need to get into a good position. And then we will fire. Come on engines, keep going. Is he not reacting at all to our presence? Did he at least change his speed? Or will he start to maneuver? Because right now he's making it really easy. And just to be clear... Oh no, crap. Really? Just to be clear, I'm shooting one torpedo at him. If that torpedo misses, I'm out of here. So I'm out of here regardless. Either we sink him or we don't, but I'm gone. Okay. I'm going parallel with him. More or less. Which is okay, that's good. Abandon the ship now! Get off while you can! 90 degree turn. I'm going to the user. I'll be pointing this thing backwards. And... Range will be something like so. I will be shooting at this... Left side, yes, that's okay. Speed, maybe he changed it. I'll have to check that, make an estimation. But everything else is set up. Open the tube. Slow down the boat. Yeah, okay. Let's fire. The torpedo is in the water, heading for the target. Let's observe. And it is looking good. This one might be a hit. Hum. I mean, that's just bad luck. <laughs> At this point, that's just bad luck. Uh, yeah. So that was that. Volle Fahrt voraus. Increase our speed. And let's get out of here. Uh, I do not want to go that way. Let's head away from this guy. To the north. 
Navigator, we turn to course. Gehen wieder auf Kurs, Herr Kaloy. It was not supposed to be. Jawohl, Use it Herr down. Jawohl, Herr Kaloy. And we are gone now. It was just not supposed to be. We have another torpedo for our wheel tube. And we have three more torpedoes in our four tubes. So we can still stay at sea. We might still sink a few more ships. This patrol was already a success due to the um, convoy that we attacked and the stragglers that we managed to take out. So I'm not complaining. I really am not. But by the way, yeah, uh, bring the user going. to the bridge once more. I need to make sure of something. That ship. I'm lock onto that ship. That ship, AOB 90 degree distance. 600 meters now, speed more or less, 5 knots. Dial that in, radio operator, send a contact report. I'm making sure that the U boat arm knows of this ship and maybe somebody else will be able to intercept it. But I'm now getting out of here before the airplanes show up. open up my distance to this guy and then I might submerge and stay submerged for uh, until the sun goes down where's the sun? there it is so unfortunately that was not a successful attack today but still we tried thank you very much for watching I hope that you enjoyed today's episode regardless and I look forward to seeing you again next time when we continue this amazing journey with sinking a few more ships, I hope. Until then, have some great days and goodbye.